Hi everyone, welcome back to Kesha Library. My name is Sarah. Our first book today is called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's adapted by Peter Bentley, illustrated by Steve Anthony and published by Hachette Children's Books. Jemima and Jeremy Pot lived by a lake with their mum and dad. They were a happy family, even though they were very poor. But dad was a clever inventor. And one day he made some musical sweets that whistled when you sucked them. Everyone loved the sweets and dad sold them for lots of money. Suddenly the pots were rich. Right, let's go, he said. Where? chorused the others. To the garage, said dad. We're going to buy a car. The pots didn't like any of the cars at the garage. But just as they were about to leave, Dad spotted something under a cover. It was a big old racing car, all rusty and broken. It's off to the scrapyard tomorrow, said the garage man. What a shame. It looks so sad, said Mum. Dad can fix it, said Jeremy. Dad shut himself up in his workshop to fix the old wreck. For weeks and weeks, all the family heard was banging and hammering and scraping. The smell of oil and fresh paint drifted over the garden. At last, Dad said, Right, oh, everybody, come and meet our new car. The car looked amazing. Its paint shone, its headlights glistened and glinted. She's the most beautiful car in the world, said Jemima. Dad started the engine. It made two loud sneezes, chitty chitty, and two small explosions, bang bang, and thundered into life. She just told us her name, said Jeremy. It's chitty chitty bang bang. Let's go for a drive to the beach, said Mum. It's such a lovely day. Chitty chitty bang bang zoomed past all the other cars until she got stuck in a long traffic jam. A knob flashed on the dashboard. It said, pull me. Dad pulled the knob. A propeller popped out of the front of the car and the mud guards fanned out like the wings of a bird. Then, whoosh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang soared into the sky. Wow, cried the children. She can fly. I knew this car was special, laughed Dad. She's terrific said mum. She's smashing, said Jeremy. She's magical, said Jemima. When they got to the beach, there was nowhere to land, so Chitty Chitty Bang Bang headed straight out to the sea. Where are we going, asked mum. No idea, said dad. Chitty is steering all by herself, said Jeremy. She's heading out for that island. Clever Chitty, said Jemima. She's found an empty beach. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang landed smoothly, tucking away her wings and propeller. Well done, Chitty, said Mum. Chitty's radiator hissed softly. She's saying, you're welcome, said Jemima. The family had a lovely time on the beach. They splashed in the sea and ate a delicious picnic. Afterwards, they lay on the golden sand and dozed off in the sunshine. They didn't see the sunshine turn to mist. And that wasn't all. Gagooga! Chitty's clacks and horn woke Jeremy first. He cried out in alarm. Quickly, everyone, the tide's coming in. Mum started Chitty's engine. There's no room to take off, she said. A button flashed on the dashboard. It said, press me. Mum pressed the button and Chitty's wheels swung out sideways. We're sinking, said Jemima. But then the wheels began to spin, and in a moment, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was shooting through the waves. Brilliant, declared Jeremy. She's turned into a speedboat. It was hard to see where they were going. At last, the fog blisted, lifted, and they saw the coast ahead. Look, it's France, shouted Dad. What an adventure. Chitty's wheels clicked back to normal, and they bumped their way up onto the shore. The tide is still coming in, said Mum. We can't stay on the beach. Look, a cave, cried Jeremy. Perfect, said
said Mum. We can shelter in there. Mum drove Titty into the cave. It wasn't a cave at all. It was a tunnel. I wonder where it goes, said Mum. At the end of the tunnel was a great wall of rock. Righto, said Dad. Looks like we'll have to turn back. But then Jemima spotted something behind a boulder. It was a big black lever. She gave it a tug and the wall began to slide open. Titty's headlights lit up huge heaps of gold and jewels. Pirate treasure, said Jemima. Mum picked up a newspaper. Not pirates, she said. Robbers. This must be Joe the robber's secret hideout, said Dad. We should tell the police, said Mum. On the other side of the hideout, some people were uploading, unloading gold from a van. It's Joe the robber, said Jeremy. Chitty blasted her horn. Gagooga! Joe yelled, quick, scarper! The gang sped off in the van out of the tunnel and onto the motorway. After them, Chitty, cried Mum. Look, they're heading for Paris, said Dad. They chased the gang through the city streets, but Chitty had to stop at a traffic light. Bother, said Mum. We'll never catch them now. The lights turned green and without warning, Chitty swerved down a narrow alley. There's the van, said Jemima. Clever Chitty. The robbers ran into a park. They were heading straight for a hot air balloon. They're escaping, said Dad. The knob on Chitty's dashboard began to flash. Pull me, pull me. Hold on tight, said Mum. She pulled the knob and once again Chitty flew up into the air. But how can we stop the balloon? asked Jemima. Chitty had the answer. She swooped down with her sharp wings. Snip, snap, she cut the ropes of the balloon. The robbers tumbled into the river. Splash! Chitty landed smoothly in the park. As the police led the robbers away, a smart limousine pulled up. Look, who's this? said Dad. Surely it can't be. It is, said Mum. It's the President of France. The President shook their hands. Thank you for catching the robbers, she said. As a reward, I am giving you this special medal. Thank you, said Jemima. But it isn't us who deserve the medal. It's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Gagooga! My name is Clate Stouderhoofen, notorious desperado, and I cannot leave my hideout as I am a wanted man. Wanted, dead or alive, for buffalo rustling, hat flattening and kicking spittoons, Clate Stouderhoofen, a.k.a. Crackshot Clate, the incognito kid, the man with no name. Reward, $5,000. Are you ready, Albert? My name is not Albert. My name is Rusty Buffles, Fearless mountaineer, I am the man who climbed Mount Chiritit, and I was born ready. What do you have for us today, Albert? My name is not Albert. My name is Professor Octavius Pickleswick, mechanical engineer and I am delighted to present you with my greatest invention, Octavian Colossus Mark III. Gold head, hard face, iron hand, eye dial, fast arm, long pump, hip switch, jet leg, sharp foot, shin chip, tin rib and glass heart. Albert Talbot, jump in. My name is not Albert. My name is Zandrian Delaclair, Antarctic submariner, and I must keep my promise to destroy the abominable vampire cuttlefish. Urgent, Uncle Rupert grabbed by vampire cuttlefish, tickled severely, beast still at large. Come immediately, 
your Aunt Cecily. Urgent. Arrive Tuesday by sea plane. We'll find that cuttlefish and thump it, or name not, Zandrian Delaclair, Antarctic Submariner. Zandrian Delaclair, Antarctic Submariner. Dinner time, Albert. My name is not Albert. My name is Anselm Fackeljacket, Diamond Thief, and I will take my dinner at the card table. Emerald monocle, sapphire encrusted top hat, platinum tie pin, Shakespeare's cufflinks, agate rings, titanium cane. cane. Go to bed, Albert. My name is not Albert. My name is Zarlon Quarkstark, Galactic Megalar Megalord, and I won't go to bed until I have taken over the universe. Go to bed, Zarlon. Good night, Zarlon. My name is not Zarlon. I don't want to take over the universe right now. I just want to be me. My name is Albert. Good night, Albert. Good night. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week. Bye.